the Buddha's meditation uh, uh, is given in the in the Majjhima Nikaya uh, when Venerable Ananda was asked uh, what type of meditation is praised by the Buddha, what type of meditation is not praised by the Buddha and Venerable Ananda gave a very straightforward uh, answer uh, the meditation that is praised by the Buddha is the first jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana uh, and the meditation that is not praised by the Buddha is the type of meditation when you practice the meditation you cannot get rid of the five hindrances uh, this is uh, very clear in the sutta so the only way to get rid of the five hindrances uh, is to attain the jhanas uh, this is quite clear from the suttas uh. so any meditation that we practice uh, uh, has to uh, the aim uh, should be to attain the jhanas uh, because when you attain the jhanas uh, then your mind becomes what is called bhavana develop uh, develop uh, when your mind is developed uh, then you, you you see from a higher level uh, you know and see from a higher level uh, uh. so uh, initially the buddha thought the first method of meditation the buddha thought was the 32 parts of the body uh, which for most people uh, is hard to practice because you first you have to learn to memorize the 32 parts of the body like head, hair, body, hair, nails, teeth, skin, flesh, sinew, bone, bone, marrow, kidney, heart, liver, midriff, spleen, lung, etc. Nah. So after that you go forward, you go backward. Nah. And if you chant slowly, that is a contemplation exercise nah, to make you see nah, the body is made out of these 32 parts. Nah. Uh, if you, uh, you chant slowly and you think about these two, 32 parts uh, frequently, uh, then uh, this, it sticks in your mind. No? So when you see a person, uh, you think of the 32 parts. Normally, uh, for, for, for most people, uh, when we see somebody, uh, we see beautiful or ugly, uh, it's all skin deep only. Uh, as they say, beauty is only skin deep. Uh, we never think about the inside. No? Uh, so because of that, uh, we have attraction to the body. Uh, uh, last, uh, uh, so it's one of the uh, reasons uh, we remain in samsara. Uh. So, uh, I was thinking, uh, why did the Buddha teach the 32 parts of the body as a first meditation when he himself never practiced it? So I think uh, all Buddhas, uh, when they want to teach uh, all Samasam Buddhas, uh, they would have uh, contemplated the past, uh, what other Buddhas taught, and then they, they teach the same thing. Uh. So probably other Buddhas also taught this, uh, so the Buddha taught this. But then, uh, this meditation, if you practice it frequently, uh, then you become disgusted with the body. Uh. So some of the monks committed suicide. Uh. Then after that, the Buddha was asked to teach another meditation. Then the Buddha taught Anapanasati. These are the two main meditations uh, that the Buddha uh, taught uh, in, in the suttas and in the Vinaya. Uh, there were some others uh, which were already popular even before the Buddha's time, like the Kasinas, meditating on earth, meditating on color, meditating on fire, meditating on water and all these things. So, uh, but the two main meditations of the Buddha are these two. Uh, um, so, as a shortcut uh, to practicing the first one, uh, instead of uh, reciting the 32 parts of the body, you can chant something simpler uh, like Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya. If you just chant Namo Buddhaya, after a while your mind will start roaming. Uh, so what you need to do uh, is put another rope around the mind. Uh, and that is to, uh, when you uh, chant Namo, uh, uh, you can uh, move one of your right fingers, uh, any one of your right finger. Uh, uh, very lightly, very, very, very uh, subtly, la, nobody will notice. La, uh, and then when you say Buddhaya, you move your left finger, any one of your left finger. La, uh, so you, because you have to synchronize uh, the Namo with the finger movement uh, and the Buddhaya with the finger movement, uh, the mind doesn't run away so fast. La. Similarly, when you walk meditation, uh, uh, when your foot touches, your right foot touches the ground, uh, you say Namo. When your left foot touches the ground, uh, you say Buddhaya. Uh, so, whether you want to walk fast or you want to walk slow, it's up to you. If you, are, if you are sleepy, you walk faster. And also sleepy, you walk slower. Uh, so uh, that is a simple thing. Now the, the other thing you need to know uh, is meditation. Uh, if you are practicing one method of meditation, you are not making progress, you can switch. Uh, switch to another method. So anapanasati uh, is to watch the breath. The breath go in, go out. Uh, also the same, la, as you are watching your breath, la, very soon your mind will run away. La. So you have to pull another rope. The other rope uh, is to mentally chant. La. When, the, when the breath goes in, uh, you say in. 
when the breath goes out, you say out. Uh, that also is not enough. So another thing to do uh, is uh, make a bit of effort uh, to pull the breath uh, down to the abdomen. Uh, uh, because if you make a bit of effort to pull the breath down to the abdomen, uh, uh, it helps to relax your body. Uh. When we are very relaxed, uh, we breathe, uh, the abdomen goes up and down. When somebody is asleep, uh, you watch, uh, like a baby is asleep, uh, uh, deep sleep, uh, you find the abdomen goes up and down. And, uh, so when we are totally relaxed. When we are tense, uh, we tend to breathe, uh, shallow breathing, we only up to the chest. Uh, to the chest. Uh, so you want to help yourself to relax, uh, purposely pull your breath slightly, uh, not down to your abdomen. Uh, and then, uh, out. So you notice the breath going down to your abdomen. This breath meditation uh, is called uh, body contemplation of the body because the body, the Buddha said, uh, the breath body. You are supposed to uh, contemplate the breath body. But later books like the Visuddhi Maga, uh, they say uh, to meditate at a point, uh, at the top tip of your nose or the or your upper lip. This is not what the Buddha said. The Buddha said uh, to contemplate the breath body. So you can follow the breath if you want, uh, and notice it come to the abdomen, and then and then go out to your nostril. And sometimes, uh, for most people, uh, this is still not enough. Uh, the mind will still wander. So what you can do is, uh, when you say in, uh, the, when the breath goes in, uh, and you say in, uh, you move one of your right fingers, uh, move one of your right fingers slightly, uh, and then when it, when it goes out, uh, you don't need to move any finger. Uh, uh, when, it, when it goes in, uh, you, you move one of your fingers. Uh, the Buddha said in the suttas uh, that uh, mindfulness of the body uh, leads to, death, to the deathlessness. Uh, mindfulness of the body. And this body uh, can be breath body, can be the physical body. Uh. But one thing you must notice, you know, when our mind strays, uh, we, and the mind starts to think, of, uh, as we say in Hokkien, uh, going east, going west, uh, then you forgot about yourself sitting in meditation, you know. You forgot you are here sitting in meditation, you are roaming here and there. The moment you remember you are here sitting in meditation, the, the thinking is cut straight away. So it helps if you move your finger. If you move your finger when the breath goes in, you move your finger slightly, then you are aware of your body and the mind does not run away. Uh, so you can try that uh, whenever you are sleepy or what, uh, you find it hard to concentrate, uh, then you, you move your finger slightly when the breath goes in, you say in and also try to pull it down to the tan tian uh, your abdomen uh, and, and so on the in breath uh, you move a finger slightly, on the out breath no need to move uh, uh. so these are different ways uh, to putting more rope and rope around the, the mind uh, to prevent, to prevent it jumping away. Uh, the mind is like a monkey always trying to jump away. Uh, any question?